Hello my friends, welcome to our channel. In this video I want to show you my typical day. It was filmed on the 29th of April and it's absolutely true to life. I just decided to film everything all around me from morning till night. That's why you won't see any great montage and beautiful scenes here. Just my pure reality. So if you would like to spend a day of a Russian mom together with me, watch this video till the end. I always try to wake up at 6 or 6.30 am, but sometimes I oversleep, because I spend too much time doing something important in the evening, working at my videos, for example. On this day I overslept again and had to be in a hurry. Happily, I don't wear much makeup in my everyday life, that's why I need only to brush my teeth and wash my face, not to look like a grumpy cat. It was a Monday after the Orthodox Easter, that's why our breakfast was very unusual. These are festive eggs, decorated by my children. Just look at them, every egg is a real masterpiece, I should say. And we also had a kulich. It was a present from our parents, that's why we needed to eat it. I woke up my son Alexander and asked him to hurry up, because we needed to go to his athletics club that he visits three times a week in the morning. He also goes to a swimming pool two times a week, to a football school three times a week and to a dance school at weekends. He is very active, that's why it's never enough for him. It's high time to eat and go. As for me, I usually don't want to have breakfast when I wake up early and even though I know that it is not right, I still just drink some water and get ready to leave the house while my children are eating. I often forget something important in the evening, that is why I usually have something to do in the morning. Just like this time, I had to iron my daughter's t-shirt for PE classes in the kindergarten. I put all the clothes for my little Nina onto her bed and told her that it was time to wake up. Her father was going to take her to the kindergarten before his work. We like to go to the athletics club and to school by bike. But the weather forecast told us that it was going to rain a lot till the afternoon. That is why we decided to leave our bikes home. And it was a good decision, because the weather was actually horrible. We realized that we should have taken some warmer clothes. It was so windy that it was even hard to walk. And we decided to go by tram. There is a station right in front of our house, that is why it's convenient to go by public transport when you are almost late and the weather is nasty. But of course it's much better to walk on foot, because everything we need is really close to our house, in a 10 minute walk. That morning we were running out of time, and I hope that you remember that I'm showing you my real day with all the ups and downs. We decided to go by trolley bus. It is such a funny thing, like a bus, but with horns. As you can see, our public transport is rather eco-friendly. It drives with the help of electricity. We needed to get off the trolley bus on the next station. It is a famous bad feature of our region. We live in a semi-desert, that is why it's extremely windy and dusty here. Remember this building. It is the Volgograd Academy of Physical Culture. You'll see it some more times today. My children both attend the swimming club that is situated there. And Sunny's athletic club also trains in the backyard of this academy when the weather is good. There are a lot of sports clubs for children here. Football, tennis, acrobatics, boxing and so on. There were only 7 minutes left before the beginning of the training, and happily we were in time. We even had to wait for some other children, because their coach didn't want to exercise outside and decided to take them to the indoor track and field playpen. It is situated near the academy. By the way, the academy itself is situated right in front of the Mamayev Kurgan, in a very picturesque place. It is surrounded by famous tourist attractions. There is also a big new road near it that leads to the Volga River and to the new embankment in front of the stadium. It is very beautiful. I like to ride my bicycle there during my son's training when the weather is fine. The indoor track and field playpen where my son trains is rather well known among local people. Many famous sportsmen from our region used to train there. It is old and looks very Soviet. My husband used to train there many years ago and says that practically nothing has changed there since those times. 
But he also said that this building is really great and that there is everything a young sportsman needs inside of it. Firstly, I thought that I would just sit inside of the building and wait for my son. But then I decided to go home and to take some warmer clothes for him and for myself and to drink some tea there or maybe help my husband and my daughter to get ready. His training lasts for an hour and a half, but they usually train even more. That is why I had much free time. I returned back to the station near the Mamayev Kurgan and went home by trolley bus. I had an unlimited travel card, that is why I could go anywhere I wanted as many times as I needed. It costs about $20 for a grown-up person and lets you drive all the trolley buses and all the trams unlimitedly during one month. I don't buy it now because it's very hot in Volgograd since May till October and I don't need to use public transport because I have a bicycle and I really like to ride it. I think one day I'll make a video for you about my typical day on a bike. When I came home my husband and my daughter were still there. Moose, moose. Глазки грязные. Чего глазки грязные? I needed to cook something for lunch, but I already knew that I would be running out of time all day long. That is why I added some hot water into the buckwheat and covered it by a towel, so that it could get ready to the time when we were going to return back home. And I also did some boring things about the house and drank a cup of tea with our kulich. When I went outside it was raining. I wanted to go for a walk, but realized that the weather was against me, and I went by tram this time. I went out of my house too early because I was going to walk on foot. I also changed my waistcoat to a jacket, but it was still cold and I was happy to get inside the building. I had some free time to check my messengers, social media and emails. This day was free of work, that's why I could surf in the internet just for fun and listen to some music. By the way, I've never told you that I work in a marketing agency, but I can't call this work creative at all. It is much more about statistics and analytics than about creativity. That's why I decided to film an active day with my family instead of filming how I'm staring into my laptop with a very serious look. But frankly speaking, most of the time I have to combine all this. I often work remotely in my home office now, and that means that I carry my laptop with me and stare into it while my son is training or studying somewhere. It was almost 10 am when the kids finally finished their workout. I thought that we could go to Sunny's football club in the morning after his athletics training. That is why he put on his football team uniform, but I decided to take him there in the evening because of the rain. When we came home, we had some free time before we needed to get prepared to go to school. Kitties were sleeping and Sunny decided to play Minecraft a little bit. It is his favorite computer game. On that day our lunch wasn't especially healthy because it was fast, but I prepared a good snack for Sanya that he was going to take to school with him. He has lunch in the canteen there too, but I also give him a lunch box with some healthy yummies every day. While we were getting ready for school, my husband came home from work to have lunch and he decided to help us a little bit and to take us to school by car. We were glad because the weather was still bad, even though it was already afternoon. But I didn't look like a grumpy cat anymore. I think that it happened because I was finally awake. I don't like when it is gloomy outside, I always feel sleepy and lazy on such days. My son's school is situated in five stations from our house. It is rather far away from our city, but when we go by bikes through a park, the way there is always fast and exciting. We also walk there when we have much time. 
Sanya takes his skateboard or a scooter. I dream to buy a scooter for me and to take it with me either. Sanya's classes start at 12.45 pm. I wished him a good day and left the schoolyard. My husband returned back to his work and I went to another school to meet my niece there. She studies in the morning, that is why her classes were already over. I needed to take her from the after-school care and to bring her to the exam at her musical school. My son's school is there and my niece's school is there, in two houses. This walk takes me a few minutes. Just look at it, a famous local pub invites everyone to watch a football match between Barcelona and Liverpool. Russian men are completely obsessed with football, I should say. And this is the school where my niece studies. She is in the first form. By the way, it is the school where I studied. That is why I always feel glad when I go there. I have lots of fun and good memories connected with this place. Just like many children, I didn't like to study at school, but I had good friends there and enjoyed spending time with them after classes. But now I understand that my childhood was great, it was a golden time of my life. I had to wait when the lesson ended to enter the school. Happily, we met my husband's friend with his wife, whose child studies together with my niece. And they took us by car to my niece's home. We left her back there, took everything she needed for the musical school and even drank some tea with sandwiches. Then we ran to the musical school. My niece placed the violin and she had a final exam on that day. I left her with her teacher and classmates and went to the station near my house to get to Sunny's school and meet him after classes. I was not in a hurry because I had more than half an hour till the time I needed to meet him. And that is why I even had some time to enjoy the trees in bloom. I think that you've already paid attention to this timetable. It's very convenient to know when trolley buses come. Such things appeared here before the World Cup 2018. There is a list of games of our local football club Rotor at the station near my son's school. As I've already said, football has always been extremely popular here, but it has got even more attractive for local people after the World Cup. The end of April and the beginning of May is the time when lilacs blossom. The whole city is in bloom. It looks so beautiful. I didn't have to hurry, that is why I managed to enjoy all the beauties on my way. The weather was getting better and it was finally enjoyable to walk and breathe fresh air with the scent of trees in bloom. I came to Sunny's school a bit earlier, that is why I spent some time sitting in the hall there. It was the time when I could watch some YouTube videos and relax. When Sunny came, we left the school and started to hurry up again. We needed to run to the musical school to meet my niece from the exam. And we went five stations back again by trolley bus. It is very convenient that my niece and her family live near us and the musical school is situated right between our houses. Thank you.
After the exam, we finally went home to spend some time there, because our hot day was not over yet. While the kids were watching cartoons and playing board games, I prepared some fast snacks for them. At 17.35 pm, we took my daughter's little yellow bag, left the house, met my niece's mom, who came from work, left my niece with her and went to the tram station. The weather was finally good and sunny, but still not very warm. Спасибо. to meet Nina from her kindergarten and to go to the swimming pool and to the Rotor Football Academy. It was again the time when we had to be in a hurry. We needed to be on time everywhere. As you can see, we have a very busy schedule. That is why we are always trying to be fast. It is easy with Sanya, but not so easy with Nina. She likes to be more relaxed when he is fast and active. When we met Nina, she was in a good mood and was ready to swim in the pool. This time we needed to go by tram much farther. Sanya's football academy is situated in another city district. We had to drive 12 stations by our metro tram and then to go up the hill. This road itself is only for active and enthusiastic sportsmen, I should say. We were in a hurry and were not late again. It was our lucky day because there were no problems with transport. I hate to be late. Подожди, Сань! Обнимайтесь, целуйтесь. Не, Сань, нормально, обнимайтесь стромку и все. И тут мне ждать. Вот прям вот здесь, вот здесь, вот возле этого бордюрчика стоишь и ждешь. Да, стоишь вот так меня и ждешь, понял? Счастливо тебе позаниматься, Александр! Поехали в бассейн. Собачка. Да, они начинают осторожно, а то ты сейчас застрянешь. Поехали в бассейн. Осторожней. Our way back to the station was much faster and easier because we were going down the hill. We needed to return back to the Academy of Physical Culture. That is why we went to the tram station again. This tram is actually the fastest kind of transport in the city center. It can't get into a traffic jam and drives really fast. When we got into the tram, my camera died. It ran out of charge and turned into a useless box with information. I put it into my bag and started to use my mobile phone instead. It 
it was funny that the tram was absolutely empty. Well, it was the end of the working day and nobody needed to drive in the direction of the city center. Everyone was leaving it instead. The sun was already getting down. We got to the pool in time. I needed to leave Nina there to return back for Sanya. When we want to get to the pool where my children train, we need to get into the building of the Academy of Physical Culture, go through the main hall and get into its inner yard. Nina attends swimming club for almost a year and now she can swim well without any help. She has already taken part in two competitions and has won two badges, one for swimming without any equipment and another for swimming on her back. When a child turns five, he or she swims alone without parents looking after him or her near the pool. That is why I can leave her there and return back for my elder son. Nina. Что ты хотела? Не, ну сейчас Аня как-то будет забирать. Пандор, Сусина, Яковлев, Богорев, Павлов, Геральд, Шерев, Батаник, Шахабуч, Галинин, Алкухов, Подсовикин, Калашник, Подкашов, Закловский, Яковлевский, Белогорский, Белогорский, I like the whole of this Academy of Physical Culture. Just look at these wonderful Soviet decorations. I love such mosaics very much. When I have time, I sit there, read a book, drink hot chocolate and enjoy this beauty. But this time I needed to return back for Sanya. I was in a hurry again and didn't feel much. I wanted to listen to some music, but my headphones also ran out of charge. Frankly speaking, I felt like I was running out of charge too. It was almost 8 p.m. and Nina's training was about to finish. Ты очень воспитанная девочка. Ну, ничего страшного. Главное, что ты сказала, ты воспитанная и культурная а девочка. Мы не воспитаны. Да. That was all with different activities for that day. It was finally time to return back home. And my phone was also running out of charge. I think just like all of us. As for me, I was dreaming about sitting on a sofa, drinking hot tea. But we still needed to return back home to make my dreams come true. That is why we went to the station. By the way, I forgot to mention that my son also has an unlimited travel card. But he has a special version for a school child. And Nina doesn't need a ticket at all, because preschool children drive for free in all kinds of public transport in our hometown. Near the station I even managed to turn on my camera for a few seconds. And then it was the moment when absolutely all my equipment turned off. That's not surprising, it was a long, tough day. Just look at the children, I think that they don't seem to be tired. They are always full of energy. We finally came home a little bit later than 9 p.m. And they were still ready to watch several cartoons and eat some apples and cornflakes for late dinner. I know that it's a bad idea in the evening at 9 p.m. But I'm so tired that I want to drink some tea with these biscuits. Americano. American biscuits with chocolate.
Санюч, ложись быстрее, Санюч. Санюч. Весна, что ты нас ложись, я тебя сейчас тоже сниму. Ой, Леш, беси котиков. Не, ну завтра покажу. Долго мотать. Я ну сейчас долго будет отмотать. Давай, маленькая моя. Finally, everyone in the flat was going to fall asleep, except my husband, who was still in the gym after his work. I hope you enjoyed my whole day in 27 minutes, and I think now you understand why I don't have enough time for my videos, even though I'm trying hard to be consistent on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and send us some likes. Bye-bye!